guys, I'm Laura Vitale. On this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I'm going to show you how to make my bacon and spinach stuffed portobello mushrooms. They are absolutely delicious. They're simple and quick to make. Let me take you over the ingredients so we can get started. You're going to need some fresh portobello mushrooms, some fresh baby spinach that's been washed and dried, some fresh breadcrumbs that I just made with two slices of Italian bread, some garlic, some thick cut bacon, salt and pepper. So the ingredients for it are super, super simple and it's mainly really going to be spinach in a portobello mushrooms with just a few pieces of salty, crispy bacon running through it and of course the bread just makes it so delicious. So the first thing you want to do is get your oven preheated to 425. Second thing you want to do is take a non-stick pan, skillet and I just put about a teaspoon of olive oil in there. Not that much, you're really not going to need it. So. Let's get right into it. Now while I wait for that to get hot, I just, I'm waiting for the olive oil to get nice and hot and while that's happening, I'm going to clean my mushrooms. I'm going to take a spoon and I'm just going to get rid of all those brown gills, whatever, whatever they're called. I think they're called gills, if that's how you pronounce it. And I'm just going to get rid of them. Whoops. That looks good. And I'm going to put them brown side down in my pan here. And I'm just going to let those cook for one minute on just on the bottom side and then I'll show you what to do next. Take those out. I'm going to put them round it side down on my baking dish that I've lined with aluminum foil and I just drizzled a little bit of olive oil so that nothing sticks and I always line my stuff with aluminum foil. It makes easy cleanup. I love that. So now to this pan, no oil needed, nothing. I'm just going to put in my bacon that I've cut into bite-sized pieces and this is just one slice of thick cut bacon for every two portobello mushrooms. It's a really simple recipe. You actually don't even need a recipe. It's that simple and easy. You can just pretty much use whatever you've got on hand. I um, have been eating spinach like a crazy person and when I buy them, I buy the humongous bags. They're like a five pound bag of spinach because I eat them in egg whites in for breakfast, in salad for lunch and I incorporate them into just about everything you can think of. So I have those on hand, so I'm going to use that to make my stuffing and to make my vegetable for dinner for tonight. It's a little more exciting. I'm just going to cook my bacon until it crisps up and then I'm going to remove it and show you the next step. Removing my bacon. I'm leaning back the drippings because that's what I'm going to cook my garlic and spinach in. Lots of flavor. So to that, I'm going to add in our garlic. And I'm going to let that cook until the garlic becomes fragrant and starts to lightly brown, about 30 seconds or so. It looks great. Now I'm going to add in all of my baby spinach. And then I'm going to put a lid on for about a minute or so so that the spinach can wilt. And then we only have a few steps to go before we pop these babies into the oven and we can get to eating. That looks awesome. Okay, I'm just going to turn this off. Why? Because I don't want them to get any more wilted than that. I'm going to add in my breadcrumbs. I don't even know why I have this bowl in front of me. Don't need the bowl, thank you very much. Mix that in. Mix in my bacon that we've crisped up into deliciousness. Awesome. Okay, clear this up. And then just divide your mixture between your two mushrooms. It's that simple. I mean, it doesn't get much easier than that. There we go. Put whatever's fallen, just put it right back up on there. Yeah. I just woo, take my olive oil that I always, always put away way too early. Drizzle just a tiny, tiny bit more on the very top. And these babies are going to go into your preheated oven for about 20 minutes or until, well, I'll show you what they look like. My mushrooms were in the oven for about 20 minutes and they're exactly how I want them. The breadcrumbs have gotten nice and crispy. They're so good. You don't really need any salt because that bacon drippings were so, so salty. This is divine. I'm not going to cut into it yet because I do want it to cool a bit longer because I'm actually going to cut these in quarters and serve them as appetizers. I'm a genius. That is so good though. You hear the crunch? Mmm. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed spending time with me. Go to www.laurenandkitchen.com to get the recipe and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Oh, that bacon piece right there.